in the north, just the physical needs of people is, is just enormous. So weather events becoming more extreme. So the droughts are more frequent and more extreme. And with that comes hunger. We've just had two locust plagues. There's a disease in the crops. And so just life is a continual struggle. So we can't be indifferent just to the needs of, of, of people. When we arrived in Marsabit Diocese in uh, 2017, the drought was really horrific. People right across the diocese were really in severe hunger, especially those in the outer areas. And so I really thank God for Anglican Aid who provided famine relief. Eddie came across and was able to see firsthand how it's been distributed and how it's been used. So that's just was a wonderful encouragement to Christians there. There was four communities who had recently come to Christ out of a demonic cult. It was wonderful the way that they received the gospel and have actually gone on to be strong in Christ. But they were really suffering with the drought. And so that was just a wonderful encouragement that Anglican Aid money was to come in and just provide some assistance to them just at that right time. I've got to tell you about an Anglican Aid project that I'm very excited about. We need to have a way of generating employment especially for people who will come to Christ out of Islam and we know that they will lose their jobs because the majority of businesses are owned by Muslims. We need a way of generating a way to combat deforestation which is having horrific consequences across the north. Water scarcity is a huge problem. When it does rain, it often rains very hard and so if we have a means of actually harvesting water, that can be a great blessing. The aim is to construct ferro cement tanks. We want to be able to produce them in a way which is both economical, but also where there is integrity, where the tanks are strong. And so we just started in a small way, we're trying to get the principles right. At the moment we have five people who have been trained up. One of them was a, from a Muslim background believer. Also we make sure we hardwire a time where we study the scriptures together, we pray for each other. We do this over morning tea and often other people will come. And we had some wonderful discussions with our Muslim neighbours as they come for a cup of tea and also they join in the Bible study. So, we see that not only as a way of providing employment, but we also see that Jesus has got to be at the centre of that project. We just see that that is also part of our, of our witness to Christ. We don't want to be building tanks, which later on gonna, you know, are going to fail. But we want the way we construct those tanks is to bring glory to Christ. If you would like to have a partnership with us and with Anglican Aid in being able to take the, take, share the word of life with our, our Muslim neighbours, We'd love you to get on board. Please support Anglican Aid in this. So not only will they be uh, ensured that they're going to be discipled, but they're also going to be learning skills where they can also be self-reliant, provide for their families and have dignity in that.